emptied out my soul You've heard it all before Honest but I know uh -huh. Left these years ago I was young and I'm old Still care for the void uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for a sorrow Yesterday I got cleared to do one mile or less of very slow walking. So today I'm going out for my very first walk since my surgery. This is killing me not being able to just take off and run, but I will behave. I'll behave. From my house to the park and back is just shy of one mile. So I'm doing as I'm told and I'm going to take it easy. So let's get up. Let's do this. What I have quickly determined is even though my surgery was outpatient, it was still major surgery. And I found that because that first week, I really didn't do much. I was on pain meds and I was really not doing much. That second week, I was off the pain meds, but still restricted to not doing anything. Oh my God, boredom. So we are now just over two weeks from surgery and I have been given the okay to do some light activity, meaning walking slowly to now build up my strength. That's something that, that's what's odd for me right now is I will, I, I went out today and went to the fabric store and came home and I had to take a little nap. <laughs> This whole baby steps. <laughs> oh, God. So my endurance is lost, so I have to kind of build that back up. It's all right. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I think the toughest part of this journey for me is just taking for granted the everyday things that we've done. Putting on my coat because I had a double mastectomy, it's made it very difficult to get my coat on. Pumping the, the soap to wash my hands, very difficult. As well as pumping the lotion, the hand lotion, just that action of, of trying to push it down, super hard. Opening up Gatorade, Powerade, the twisting of that top, majorly difficult. Majorly, is that a word? <laughs> Just everyday things. It takes me so long to take a shower. I feel like I need a nap after I get clean and put my makeup on. This is, this is the hard part for me. I am so independent and it's, it's so hard to not just get out there and do it. But I learned early on at my first post-op appointment that I had over, overdid it a little bit. And the skin, the breast skin was bruising up and potentially could have died. The, the skin could have died. That was a big kick in the head for me and I had to take it easy. Baby step. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. But this, getting out, fresh air, 
enjoying the park that I have for years done training runs. This is helping up here. I have yet to be cleared to go back to work. Like I said, I've just been cleared to drive and to do light activity. I just want to be normal again. I just want to be normal again. I also want to take this time to thank everyone that has sent me surprises in the mail. I got another one this morning when I went to the post office. And I tell you, I got the best viewers. Thank you all. You don't know what it means to me. The encouragement, the support, the love. It is, it's overwhelming to me that people would send cards and gifts and it's, it's means so much to me. I'm speechless. Normally that's, that's not me. <laughs> Thank you all. Most of the gifts that I've received do not have names associated with them. So I can't tell you by name. Thank you. But you know who you are. You know what you've sent me. And when you've seen it on Instagram and TikTok, you know who you are. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you. <laughs> this is the slowest walk in recorded history. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's kind of nice to go slow because I am noticing things. Just, no, I'm not. There's nothing good about going this slow. <laughs> first post-op walk is done and I'm gonna be honest I am a little lightheaded or maybe dizzy maybe so I think I'm just gonna rest now maybe take a little nappy poo but it's a start it's a start what do we do to love what do we do to love what do we do to love